With the Reverend Bob Levy. Working. He's all over the place working hard. That's working right. Working now. So, uh, now, uh, how are you going to get a woman there, uh, uh, Mike, with this type of attitude? If a woman offers her, her ass to you, you take it. Yeah. I don't no, care no, if no, you no, her, her, her boyfriend did, and now she's, you know, I don't want, the, I don't want not somebody a, else. Not her boyfriend. But you understand, her. every woman has been with somebody else. Oh, right, yeah, of right. course. You right. know, so it doesn't matter if it was four hours before. But <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little <laughs> weird that he was offering her to me. I don't trust that. So that's you know a I mean? gift. No. no, that's about as easy as it's going to get, Mike. Let no, but he could, he could want to put an axe handle on the back. Come on. So no. you think he's well, he trying to the, bait you to kill to me. you? He's the Santa Claus of Putang. He's giving it to you. Do you understand that? He's yeah. giving you a gift. I, I don't trust him. He's handing it to you. Is it too good to be true? Is that what you're saying, Mike? Yeah. It's too good to be true. But you don't believe that sometimes the possibility may exist where stuff just goes down that way. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it happens. It does. It goes down that it way. It really does. Dreams... Come true. Have you ever tried to hit on the hottest chick in the bar? No. I've, I've, when I Why? Been, Why? She's probably with some idiot. No. 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 She's Why alone. Why are you being the idiot? Why are you, you, yeah. you being the idiot? Listen, yes. listen. She, she's alone because nobody's uh, got enough guts to come talk to her. You'd be the first one exactly. that night that have enough guts to come talk to her, and I bet you it works out for you. Yeah, and then, of course, what happens is, what happens? LeBron James is over goes, you're with my, you're with my girl. <laughs> you're with my girl. And then Mike's like, oh, yeah, no, no, somebody. But at least she gave the shot. <laughs> yeah. She's like, listen, LeBron. I uh, and then, then, of course, uh, T Tyson Beckford comes by and goes, are you with my girl? Oh, I can't I can't She was all over. I got, good, 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 good. I got a movie screen. Yeah. Marcus Schenkenberg comes by. <laughs> listen, we're going to surf tomorrow. I can't do it. Oh, who's a good, I got a good prototype of the kind of woman I had liked at one time? Uh, Michelle Thomas. She had passed away. What the hell is that? She was Urkel's What do you mean woman. she passed away? Did you kill her? No, no, she died. Well, a dead guy, girl you can No, bang. I'm saying the type of woman. Maybe <laughs> That'd older be good for you. Urkel? Urkel from the, the, the yeah, sitcom? Yeah, Michelle Thomas her name was. In real life? What? I don't think he dated in real life. She was hot. She was on the, the show? Was girl. Oh, yeah. Well, well, she's you a watch, young actress. You watch some no, I'm crap saying shows. a little bit old, like 10 years older than her. Yeah, I love... Uh, you watch some crap shows. Yeah. yeah. 18? <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> no, I like He's writing a movie right now for the guy from the original 18. I know. He uh, writes a movie. Murdoch. That guy getting a script Murdoch. about anyone yeah. writing a movie for me. He's like, what? He's in some <laughs> bar in Manhattan. Beach. Do you like, have the, the uh, 18 <laughs> lunchbox? No. Okay. Well, he definitely got a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> he had plenty. I'd go with Underdog on that. Here's my girl. Well, listen to this, Mike. Here's an interesting stat. Uh, they call this New Jersey's boomerang generation, and it mm. applies to Staten Island. Yeah. Is 27 the new 18 when it comes to living at your parents' house? According to the U.S. Census Bureau, and I think this is scary, at least one in four New Jersey adults ages 18 to 31 live at home. Really? And 42% are 24 or older. Mm. Experts call it an epidemic of... Uh, millennials leeching off their parents. But does a bad economy and student loan debt crisis justify the situation? Well, here's the thing, Mike. They're saying it's okay because of the millennials and that generation, but you're you're a baby boomer. <laughs> no, no, there's another... How old are you? No, but there's another reason why to... Uh, because... That's the one issue. No, big nobody ever, big no, difference. Nobody, yeah. ever let me, nobody ever let me explain my reason as well. But what yeah. is, all, people always... All What's always your reason? It. Yeah, what is he it? wants okay. to outlive them in the house. No, 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 no. no. He doesn't like girls? No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. My mom, like I said, has heart disease and leukemia. Back in 94, she was hit by a hit and run. She was disabled. She hasn't been able to work in a long time. And I'm a big part of so paying. So you take care of her. And you're I'm a big, big part, part of, of paying her rent. Yeah, you're brother. Oh, you okay. are. I am a big part of paying her well, rent, and nobody ever listened to me about that. No, I'm saying now. How I did always, you make? When, when you I just started, started working. working. No, Art, I've been paying my rent for years. How? Do, how? I just work. I put. I got whatever gigs I could. Just paid my rent for years. I've been taking care of. It's like. It's not that I want to live there. I want to have my own place, but I'm not. I'm not going to leave her in the dust. Dust well, like more money. What about the 15 other people that live there? No, but it's still not enough. I got to take care of her. What about sending her? No, John, I can't afford two, day, two rents at one right now. Not yet. But what about the other people who live there, Mike? They pay, but uh, still, it's expensive where we are. And the thing is, if I had, uh, if I had more money, I'd, I'd send her money and live by myself. I would. I mean that. That's why I'm working my butt off to do all the stuff. But, mm. but 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 do you? Okay, so your but your brothers and sisters definitely contribute. Yes. Uh, so th that's still not enough money. No, it's expensive. You know, things are not that cheap today. It's you know, and 
That's why, like I said, people always like, oh, you're still there. I'm not going to leave my family and turn my back on my Did family. Did you guys kind of band together as siblings and say, hey, why don't we all just move in with mom and... No, my brother was actually hey, married for a long time. He got, he, got, he got divorced. My but sister, I think your mother wants married. you out, though. I think yeah. that's the thing. No, I think she'll feel better if you guys leave. No, she, well, she always says that, but I mean, you know. <laughs> okay, why, why, why believe she means that? Why believe she what she said? Yeah. Give it off. She right? like I said, she's like, why are these kids here? You don't know what's good for your life. Shut up. Shut up. No, 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 really, she, please leave. No, shut up. You know you I'm love never, me. I'm never, I'm never leaving you. I would never abandon you. I don't. Please abandon me. Please abandon me. Never. I told the financial when I get to that point. I'll go by myself. I'll send you money. or I'll even buy you a house. I don't care. She's like, fine, fine. No, but I'm never leaving you. <laughs> now are my are my red shirts done? <laughs> How many people live in the house? It's it's a two a two family house. Uh, so what is that? So mean? does that mean five? He, he, always, <laughs> I mean, he always answers a question with another fact. I know. Two times. Okay, what, I know five? how Staten Island is always it's a mother daughter house. Okay, I know. Yes, I grew up two there. family. Is it ten okay. People? How many people? It's my brother and his girlfriend, and uh, his son has an apartment downstairs with them. My little dog, I love that dog. And the son has a uh, The wife. dog counts as a person. That's <laughs> five. I got five. He I always says five. he loves the little dog. I got five, plus your mom is six, right? No, no, she lives up in a separate thing. Yeah, no, but we're talking about the house, house. Mike. Same house. Same house. Same house. No, this is the basement my brother lives in. But the same under, house, Under Mike. the same house. roof, right? Same roof. Okay, hold on one second. Uh, one, two, brother, three. Brother, girlfriend, kid, hold on. Four, dog, dog, Mike. Five, six, seven... Eight people. <laughs> eight people. Eight people. Mike. That's that's it's a full house. Leave, you could leave and she'll yeah. be fine. No, uh, they paid. They my brother's girlfriend. Uh, I don't want him to get into house. Dude, that's gets. the Brady Bunch right there. No, it's not the Brady. It's a functional. Brady who bunch. works? Eight of people. Those eight people. Who works? I work. Uh, my my uh, my my uh, brother's girlfriend does. And the dog. What well, were you doing before? The dog's this job? hustling. The dog's the biggest hustler of all. <laughs> you got oh, this yeah. job. You got this job a year ago. One year ago, like almost today. Almost a year. Yeah. Least, uh, September. Seven. What were you doing before this? Just comedy. I, I try to do comedy as much as I can. I put. But I, how well were you making money at that? Yeah, but it was it was brutal to live like that odd for a long time. But you have ten minutes or five. No, minutes, I have more than that, John. Audie likes to kid around. I've, oh, all right. Well, no. I never said that. You, you'd say it. You, how many minutes do you have? I've, like I said, I've done up to 40 minutes, but I haven't worked in a while on the road. Uh. But how, when's the last time you did 40 minutes, though, Mike? It's been a while, a long time. Because that's how you make good money. You got to have 40 minutes. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I just don't have the opportunity to, you know what I mean? You got to, you got to be at that level, all the time. But you've been at that level, though. No, but what? No, it's not easy. Like I said, I've, I've been trying to get out of work, comedy. Well, it's not easy. No, no, I know. Well, I mean, you're on the show now. And I've been trying my best. I, I mean, if and, I... And get an agent to book oh, you? I, I, well, I just fired one. Yeah, but you know what? It's like, I don't know what's easier for me, a woman or an agent. They're about equal. How about if you what? got a woman agent? Give me... There what, you what go. was your big... What? At least, what at least, least an agent will screw you. Mike, honestly, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mike, honestly, what was your it's biggest beef? <laughs> what was your biggest beef with, with, with the last agent? With, yeah. With, with Josh, uh, Joel. You know, just a lot of things, you know. I don't want to really bash him. He's a great, good guy. I like the guy a lot, you know. I just don't want him like as a your great agent. guy. It's just the, the money. I need to make more money and other things. And but just why, why is that his fault? It sounds like he's working for you. No, but uh, the thing is, you know, I, I should be booked on a lot of gigs. I mean, as much as I can get. Mike, Mike, when you would call him, would he call you back? Oh, yeah, right away. He's so a good guy like I'll that. tell you Do what, you brother. Have that's more a good sign work. right there. He drove no, the no, no, but the thing is, Art, there's a big difference between agents and managers. Agents... I liked him for one reason, because they would get you either stand-up work or get you auditions for stuff, and that's all you had to deal with him. That was it. I like that. Do you have more gigs now that he's gone? I've been, uh, I haven't been pursuing it. I just, it's, I'll get on the phone with people, but you really got to have somebody else calling for you. You do. You do. You actually do. Right. You're not so, going to get on the phone with me unless you, unless you like. So getting rid of him is, has not been effective. No, now, but it's right? been. No, it's been. I feel a lot more free because of other things. I yeah. just. Yeah, you're free because you're not you're, working. Yeah, you're no, home all the time. No, I've, I've been doing stuff. I mean, people always beg me about stuff, but you don't know what I'm doing at home. I really am. But you got to make money is my point. You're not I know. Paying, you're not getting paid for the stuff at home. Oh, but I'm trying to create other stuff. I've been sending stuff out to people. I'm trying to get out of work. It's just not easy. People I, think you're on TV all the time. You know, they, they, they think it's going to be easy. It's not. I think, Mike, you should have waited until you got another manager. Who was well, working? I'd yeah. rather have an agent, though. I don't really care for management that much. 
But whoever it was, I think you should have waited to get another. Agents are better off. You know why? Because they pay. They, they, they just can get your stand-up work or audition. That's what I want. That's so are it. you are you actively pursuing that? Are you yes, looking for an absolutely. agent? Absolutely. Okay. So you put the word out there right now tonight that you want an agent. Well, they know. They, 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 those guys are shrewd people. Who's they? they? Know. Hey, maybe we Who's can. They? Maybe we can help. Tell a group out, of but... the Jews. <laughs> no, not the Jews. <laughs> no, the people from Boston. <laughs> no, no, the Jews always did the, the, the right That's thing, thing by the agent. No, how do they know? How do they know? The Jews have always done the right thing. That's by right. Them. The Jews have always been better agents than, than the Gentiles. Bitter? <laughs> better. Wow. <laughs> the Jews. Oh, wow, man. They're smarter Broad people. Broad strokes, man. Broad oh, strokes. Oh, That's oh, a no, big brush. No, but they work hard. And they always got good stuff. You think they're smarter uh, people? They're uh, what do you call it? They're, they always did well for me, and they're the right thing, and they're respectful. Well, <laughs> my God. All right, well, they got me great auditions and got me work. I love them. They're nice people. So any, any Jews in Boston want to book them? <laughs> Before this whole gets any deeper, we'll take a break. <laughs> Welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. Sitting here with the Reverend Bob Levy. I'll have the Bobby. So what's the story, Bob? I'm going to make you read it. All right. Uh, Bob can't read. I know. I, I need glasses, but I can't read. Uh, I'm a guy again. ABC newsman who switched genders wants to switch back. Oh, no. Yes. Amnesia awakening. He thought he was a woman trapped in a man's body, but it turns out he's just another boring straight guy. <laughs> ABC News director Don Ennis uh, strolled into the newsroom. Uh, in May, wearing a little black dress <laughs> and an oven wig, oh and, and announced he was uh, transgender and splitting from his wife, he wanted to be called Dawn. D A W N. Wow, Dawn. So that was going to happen when Bochetti has to come in here in a dress because he lost a bet. Uh huh. Uh, Michelle, yeah. Michelle, no. Michelle Bochetti. Mini skirt. No, honey boo boo. Ooh. Dress him up as. Yeah, that'd be good. He'd look perfect like, like that. He could be the mom. Woman. He could be no, the he mom. No, he has to be a hooker. A no, redneck woman. No, he wants well, to be an like. 80s hooker. What is what an 80s? Wait a minute. What? Yeah. What is the difference between an 80s hooker and a hooker yeah, today? Yeah, what are you going to do? Madonna or something? He's saying no AIDS. That's what he's saying. Oh, <laughs> no, he's singing Madonna. That's when it was the big time AIDS. <laughs> that was early AIDS. Not the early not the AIDS. Mid. Early AIDS. What, well, do you want to get paid less? Okay. <laughs> I mean, why would you want to be an 80s hooker? Yeah, why do you want to be an 80s hooker? hooker? Uh, I'm just use as an example. I mean, I don't care what that decade it is. Do you have experience with the 80s hookers? Have you ever dressed up oh, as yeah. a woman? No. Then well, why, oh, why yeah, do wait, you wait, want to? Yeah. Yes, uh, I did on the show. Mm. It's common, com, com, uh, Calmer Electra. Mm. Fraud him to be a hooker. You Pretty dressed up as like Common and Electra? <laughs> no, Calmer. Calmer, K O M A. I guess we don't have video of that. That's too, that's too far back. But yeah, he got dressed up as uh, Carmen Electra's sister. I don't know if I'm ready to see them. Yeah, yeah no, they were <laughs> Wait, quite disturbed. Her sister's name is <laughs> Karma? No, no we offense, made it that. Mike. Ah, got it, got yeah. it. Got <laughs> but, uh, Mike, so what are you going to do? I'm clear now. Are you going to dress the same way? No, no, I'm going to... Have to look like 1986. Why is that? Enough about your weight. But <laughs> <laughs> why are you doing that, Mike? Because well, Dan I, I, I'm not reneging on a bet. Fraudy's coming to fraud. Hey, well, so just make it a money. You got your stuff. Now, how is Dan kicking your ass on everything that you? I've been hearing about this. Stand up, pop a shot. All it's that unbelievable. Stuff. You beat him in stand up. You're over no, that's five. Stand -up. I heard. It was improv. I, but improv that, it. but that's your thing, Mike. How can he beat you in everything? Well, he's been around a lot of great people in radio himself, so, you know. Yeah, but, okay, but, you know, now you don't have to kiss his ass after you were screaming at him for weeks. I know what's been going on between you two. I'm yeah. here to cut the tension. There you go. This got to stop. You're doing a bang-up job with it, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> this got to stop. Just real, I know you don't do your laundry. Oh, there you go. He keeps playing that. Oh, wow. No, but he's That's not really playing the Jameses. I, I can dance, dance. James loves to get me boiled up with James. You're getting boiled up. You're getting boiled up, Mike. That's what's happening. You no. want? Hey, you want to beat him in a contest? No, I don't want to. No, this no. Did you perfect hear how he, one. Bob, did you hear how he treated the woman from uh, California? I heard it. I was offend I was totally Listen offended to, to be Listen a to man. This. Well, she bought it on to herself. I didn't. Well, I just did. Dan, she hung up. She hung up with your man. She's fine. Dan, she's fine. Don't get upset. No, she's a. Whoa. Well, that's what she is, though, Dan. I'm not saying sorry. For it. That's what that whore is. I'm not. I'm not apologizing, Dan. I'm not. It's some big old thing. I'm not apologizing. This is unbelievable. Right, so what, an, what an outburst. Yeah. <laughs> and you take care of your mother with that mouth? No. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm so f***ing drugged up for. 
Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, but I'm not blaming. I'm, I'm not for sure. I'm, I'm, well, the FCC. I know. The FCC just is all no, over us now. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, she be don't be don't our it sounds like he's got call waiting during the second line. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. She don't know me. I'm sorry, but I'm just like, I'm tired of people judging me that don't know me. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Yeah, but oh the thing my. is, everybody yeah. in this room is not is guilty of an outburst like that. At least You're right. I, 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 I'm oh, yeah. guilty of millions of them. Yeah. yeah. I'm not the That's only true. guy that had an outburst like that. I, I mean, know. You're usually Forget about it. But I think you got a chance with her. I don't think she was going <laughs> at you. I, and really I did. Do. I had an outburst like that on a show people listen to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Mike, you don't listen, know Mr. Adam. Listen, Mike, I think you should. I think what you need to do is you need to work on your people skills when it comes to getting a woman on the road. Yeah. Yes, yeah. It's, it's simple. They seen you on stage. How easy is it when you're on they stage? You on you're stage. at a game. You're, you're, perform- at a game. you're the performer. You're a per- performer. If somebody goes, let's go to another bar. You go, no, absolutely, no. This is where everybody's uh, seen me. Exactly. Kill. Right. And that's where right. you land them. You you're put the, the bait king out. Of the castle. Yeah. Exactly. You say, come on, you come up to get my room. Off stage, you yeah. work the room, and you don't leave until you come up with something. Yeah. If, you're Henry Ford, if you're Henry Ford, you don't leave Detroit. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you're the king of it. And when you're at a comedy club, you're like Henry Ford in Detroit. And you got a hotel room, right? I like Detroit better than Henry. I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> okay. Not even a clue what that means. <laughs> but you can bring the girl back to your hotel room. You can say, can you take a walk with me back? If she comes then back you to your hotel the room, you you're, you're, the in you're in there. Yeah. You're in there. When it's dark by the hotel, you give her the elbow. Right and don't in. and don't uh, don't appear to be too needy, too. Don't exactly. fall on all. Hey ladies, why not take uh, a roll of the dice? Tell her she looks good. Look, she's good looking once. Don't tell it to her no. five or six times. Oh, no. That I'm just saying, like, you know, be cool. Be the Mike Bushetti. We all know you are. Good point. When you keep telling them they're good looking, they think they hold all the cards. Exactly. Right. Right. You know. Well, they they do actually hold and the cards. <laughs> yeah, but they don't let them hold more cards than they need to. I That's know. my point. And That's don't right. get too excited and say too many things because your teeth teeth might flow off. Yeah. Oh. yeah what ha- whoa, whoa, what happened? That I was heard about this. I heard this on Twitter. That you was on Twitter. Twitter. You know what's following me on Twitter? You know what's following me on Twitter? What's that? Bichetti's teeth is yeah, following yeah, yeah. me on Twitter. <laughs> Mike, someone, I swear to God. Mike, someone tweeted me when I when I when I tweeted today that I was going to be on the show. Someone tweeted back to me. Be careful, Mike's Mike's teeth are all over the studio. <laughs> Do you what, know there's a Twitter the account for Shetty's teeth? On, man? Yeah, it's following me. Yeah, there's a Twitter account for Shetty's teeth. I found your teeth. teeth. <laughs> They're on Twitter. <laughs> Some. Some punk put it up. Alpha, Alpha. Some punk. He yeah. gets really mad at people. <laughs> no, no. Watch yeah. You know how many people told me, can you tell Mike to put me back on? He deleted well, me. Well, you know what? They, I don't like people that are stupid with them out. That's it. <laughs> yeah, but Twitter, man, you got to take the good with the bad. But yeah. You can't control oh, well, you know, it. There it is. There yeah, it is. No, there. you can. You block people. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's your... T- whoa. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, now you guys are bringing, now you're bringing more was that Was that for now. Shark Week? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying now you bring more in. Oh my God! What? Oh. Why? Wait a minute. I got. No, fake. You bring, oh. you're bringing more in. Just ignore no, 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 no. Ignore I, I got. Oh, I, I'd rather block them out and just block. Them. That's Check. exactly. <laughs> block them out. Block them out. Ignore Dude, them. All you got to do is just like is Beaker. Is beaker. Lock lock him in. His teeth. <laughs> quick, quick, uh, quick break. Back with the audio. <laughs> a bridge you gotta leave here. Audio live show. Remember DraftKings.com. I'm sitting here with Al Abdel Nabi, the Reverend Bob Levy. Rev, what else you got to plug here? Plug uh, away. This, uh, Mine uh, Reverend. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'll be at the Speak Easy Comedy Lounge in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. 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 And, uh, I want to say something. Camelback Road. This is my, uh, mm-hmm. this is my iPad right here. Mm-hmm. This is why I love Levy. This is his. Yeah. <laughs> and this was mine for a long time. But I had so much stuff for tonight. And then uh, September 19th to the 21st, I'll be at Comics at Foxwoods. Nice. Comics at Foxwoods, great room. Yeah, great people, too. Comics at Foxwoods. You're Fox hilarious, Woods. my friend. Now, why don't you take one? Now, Mike, uh, I got a couple of dates. You know, Mike, October 19th, let me go on my uh, thing here. Uh, I have all my dates. Uh, yeah. October 19th, Mike, I'm at Stamford, Connecticut. 
That's nice up there. Do you want to come up there? there? Yes, yes. Yeah. We got to try to get no. you laid. This is Get Bushetti Laid Tour. It, that's what. Oh, it, no. I'm playing a theater October 19th, September 28th. We won't come home until he gets laid. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't want to be away from that. You guys are going to be away from years. Consider us homeless. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to be away from the for 40 years. September 28th, I'm at uh, I'm at St. Petersburg, Florida in a theater. Well, yeah. Florida's nice. You can yeah. get women easily <laughs> there. He likes all the places. Can I get it? You know how many condoms you can break there? You know how many chairs you can break there? <laughs> November 30th, I'm in Cleveland. What's going on with that? we got to figure that out. I don't know. So Cleveland. We'll, Cleveland's well, nice. I love Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's beautiful. Go Cleveland's nice. <laughs> that fun there. Oh, like, Cleveland? It's nice. Well, you got to figure it out. There's one other day, October 5th, I'm somewhere, too. Where, Artie? Tell me. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm sure Mike, it's nice. you should try to try to get to all those. I'm going to go to Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm dying to go there. Listen, if you, if you go watch one of Artie's shows... Right and at either because I did it the other night when we were down to Atlantic City, mm -hmm. just basking in the glow that is arty, yeah, will get you some attention. Exactly, you should go work yeah. that. Well, here's the best thing. I, I just got to change this to me. It's October sixth. I'm at the Hoboken Comedy Festival. Hoboken, it's nice. So that's oh, the, that's awesome. that's the that's my hometown. It's the epicenter. It's a short drive, Mike. October sixth, yeah. Artie. We will get you know the ass in Hoboken. I can, oh, it's I can take the, uh, October sixth. We'll take them all back to my apartment. I will be there. That has a view. I will I be can there. Take I'll, the I'll, I'll, I'll be there. I'll, I'll be there. What do you take the whole boat? I forgot the train. Mike, uh, I'm going to be there. You coming, Mike? Sorry. I'm going to be there that day. Yeah, I like You're not the taking the train. You're like pulling the train. <laughs> no, You're going to pull a train. No, no. I forgot. <laughs> I haven't taken it in a long time. Dude, October You're the engineer. 6th. October 6th, okay? We are yeah. the whole boat. You're in there. We're going to go together, Mike. Thank you, guys. Are you ready? Yeah. And my apartment, we're all going back here. We're on a mission from Gat. Can I just say one quick thing about? I'm sorry. Don't blow, blow. I, I feel You're blowing bad. it already. I feel bad about Boston. I, I like those people. It's just that guy got me twisted. You offended an entire okay. region of the country. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, he, my, <laughs> arguably my favorite region. But I'll accept the apology. Maybe he didn't even live there originally. I, I want to thank Al. Al <laughs> Always good to see you, Artie. John. Al, you're a good man. Thanks, man. Always fun to be with you guys. Jeff Passon. Reverend Bob. Jeff Passon from, uh, where's Jeff Passon from? Yahoo Sports. Yahoo Sports. Yahoo Sports. Thanks for talking baseball with us. The Rev Bob Levy. Uh, thank you as always. Hilarious. You're always the best. And uh, listen, you ready now? Yeah. October 6th, October 19th. It's a possible. Write it down. Write it down. Hoboken. November 30th. Hoboken. It's nice. It's Cleveland. You said the right. 13th? September 28th. <laughs> that was oh, close. Yeah, ready got it wrong. <laughs> October 19th. Hey, where's Artie? I can't find him. October 19th. What do you mean he's not in town? Stanford, Connecticut. <laughs> September 28th, St. Petersburg, Florida. September 28th. Awesome, buddy. Thank Go to ArtieQuitter. ArtieQuitter.com. <laughs> Take care, brush here. They already like it.